think we're all still trying to get over how epic last week's episode of Ruby was because it was certainly one of the, it still is, in my opinion, one of the best episodes of Ruby um, to date. I mean, the way they told this information about how Salem came to be who we know her to be and Oz, Oz's past and, you know, how they showed that in such brilliant detail as well as answered a few questions as well that were really really pivotal including how the moon was broken and not just that but how you feel a bit of sorrow for Salem and Oz is was just impressive like the amount of detail the amount of work that um that the crewby put into last week's ruby was absolutely intense and I can't wait to see how things do transpire like how like we're probably gonna uh, considering she's on the thumbnail how we're going to you know potentially see Salem uh, taking in last week's uh, account in uh, coming into this week so I'm really excited to see um what this episode of Ruby does deliver but hello everyone Liam Catterson here with episode 4 of Ruby volume 6 which is so that's how it is like I said last week there's, there's no words to describe how beautiful uh, how beautifully written it was how beautifully animated it was because there were a lot of really really delicious scenes involved especially seeing Ozma uh, especially w well, whether it was Ozma or Salem fighting uh, for or uh, or against each other, some of the scenes were just delicious, and I absolutely loved last week. And I, I think I've watched a lot of reactors, um, you know, go f uh, like enjoy that episode, and it was just really, really beautiful because that was a stellar episode, and you know, honestly. It's going to be, I don't, I mean, this is Rooster Teeth. They can, they always manage to deliver um, in my eyes, but it will be a bit tough to top this episode because this episode set a really, really high bar. But like I said, Rooster Teeth does really, really amazing. And if they're hitting us off so early with, with that episode in the volume, then I'm really, really I don't know if I sh should say excited or worried about what they're going to drop for Volume 6, because uh, 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 by the end of Volume 6, should I say, because I have to remember that Volume 5 kind of ended on a happier note where, you know, the villains technically did lose. Uh, and I'm really worried that, you know, Volume 6 might, uh, you know, get some kind of retribution or something like that for Volume 5. Um but I do sense they're going to, you know, really go big by the end of Volume uh, Six. If they, like, like I said, especially with how uh, intense the first three episodes have been, from uh, an amazing fight on the train, uh, seeing Team Ruby back together, um, Ozpin, um, you know, really, really putting a lot of tension on Team Ruby to the point where Ozpin forced Oscar's body to. Uh, go for the attack on Ruby and I'm hoping that gets addressed in this episode because last week of course we were so focused on Oz uh, on Ozma's and Salem's past um so it was it would be a bit wrong to focus elsewhere um considering this was the story of Salem and how she turned to be the monster she became um so I'm wondering if that's going to get reflected on that because Ru because even Ruby was like scared, which she, understandably because you know you have someone who uh, is you know charging at you and you have you have to take into account that you know this is the same person who um, you know welcomed you at Beacon as well at the very first episode. Um, so it's a scary thought to imagine. Um, but I'm really excited to see what this episode does have to bring. So with that said, let's just check out episode four of, uh, volume six of Ruby. I'm looking forward to this. This volume has been intense. Let's go. <laughs> I need to practice this song. I need to practice this. <laughs> you did it for volume 5, Liam. 
Don't fail on volume six, especially since this is getting catchier. It is getting catchy on me, but oh well. I'll need to practice this though, like this song, because like I said in my reactions before, you can't help but sing it, and that was me, but I'm neglecting that opportunity, am I? <laughs> It certainly is getting catchy, catchier. Salem can't be killed. You all heard her too, right? She can still lose, surely. I... There was so much you hadn't told us. How could you think that was okay? Professor, what is your plan to defeat Salem? I want Ruby. Don't have one. Holy shit! No one wanted me. I was cursed. Oh my I gave god! My life to you because you gave me a place in this world. I thought I was finally doing some good, but you are. Meeting you was the worst luck of my life. Oh, damn. Oh, that... That hurts. Maybe you're right. Damn. And, what happened? you know, he still put... It was more directed He's to Oz, gone. Pen, but... That bastard! Tell him we're not done yet! No. This is different. Go on, Yang. He's gone. It, it, it's like he's locked himself deep inside my head. Our head? Well, he I hate come this. Out anytime I soon. want it to stop. He just left us? What are we going to do now? <sighs> Enough! Oh, boy. We need to get a move on. It'll be dark before we know it, and every one of you is spewing negativity. Mm-hmm. There's a trail over there. Usually Wait, lead I mean, you, Lady, after everything... I don't know who you think you are. Uh oh. No buts. Ooh. I understand that you're upset. Honestly, I'm still coming to terms with the fact that this is humanity's second time around. Mm. But if we don't move, we die. And I'll be damned if I've lived this long just to die out here in the cold. <laughs> Damn, Marie, take no shits. <laughs> no, she's right. Come on. Damn, I'm absolute. My heart's feeling for like Yang as well, but because like, I do love how kind of stable um, Ruby was being to Ozpin. I'm just going to be another one of his lives, aren't I? Of oh. course not. You're your own person. Don't lie to him, Ruby. We're better than that. Crow. Holy crap. Damn, though, I mean, I know it was Ospin, but still, Crow punching the physical form of Oscar, though. Oof. Oh, is that that nice fancy transport? Neat. <laughs> She's still reeling about Cinder. Good news! Welcome back, welcome back. <laughs> I do hope you missed us as much as we missed you. 
<laughs> this sucker. Let's go. <laughs> oh, I've missed him. Mm, speaking of which, where is our fall maiden? She's invisible. <laughs> <laughs> Emerald, come on. Don't tell me something happened to her. <laughs> <laughs> My god. I will cut off more than just your tail. Oh. <laughs> Careful, little girl. <laughs> Cinder isn't here to protect you anymore. Oh. <gasps> Oh my god, Terry is just back off, freak. Exactly, he's a freak. Oh, don't misunderstand. I am in mourning just as you. Because it appears you failed our queen. And that is a tragedy. I know good. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I even missed this son of a bitch. <laughs> uh oh. Well. I would like you to explain to me how it is you failed so spectacularly. The Fauna's militia split our forces. Stop. Oh. Let me rephrase the question. Who is responsible for your defeat? Oh my God. She's just I take full responsibility. But that wouldn't be fair now, would it? Oh my god, we Sam's all absolutely is truly to blame. I don't <laughs> What the hell? Oh my god. She is absolutely Emerald. Uh oh. I want you to tell me whose fault this was. You just sends the shiver we down your spine. That's she right. Want, yeah, she doesn't want to admit that. Though. I want you to understand that failure. I want you to understand why Cinder must be left to toil in her isolation until she redeems herself. You mean... She's alive. You're joking. Yep. How could you know that? Are you questioning our divine savior? <laughs> <laughs> of course not. Forgive me. It's important not to lose sight of what drives us. Love, justice, reverence. But the moment you put your desires before my own, they will be lost to you. This isn't a threat. This is simply the truth. I just love uh, I the just love to how desire spine is chilling found she is. Through me. <clears throat> and so we must press on. The sword under Vacuo's Academy, Shade. Ma'am. I have more to report. Uh oh. Oh, that. Oh. Oh my god. Crow and the children are taking the lamp to Atlas. <laughs> Not if I can help it. And they're being led by Ozpin. 
<laughs> so soon. He's the only man with a chance of getting through to Ironwood. Oh my god. If that happens. It... I shouldn't break glass. Someone's gonna, you know, have to pick all of that up and their hands will be bloody sailing. Just saying. Your Grace, I. Can... Oh my goodness. Come on. Yeah, this was never a good idea. Oh boy. See, now someone's going to have to pick all of that up. That's a problem. Damn, she's so chilling, though. I was so, I so super like tense during that. Up. I just want to get this stupid relic to Atlas. Let's hope we don't have to walk all the way there. I thought trails led somewhere. Do you have nothing better to do than to harass a defenseless old lady? <laughs> Everyone quiet! <laughs> Do you hear that? Maybe someone swinging on a swing in the winter? It's a gate. Someone might just have been lazy and just saying. Well, at least one good thing happened today. It looks abandoned. Brunswick Farms. It's still better than this. Come on, I think we could all use some rest. I mean, this is still taking place on the same day as episode uh, one, isn't it? So, a lot's happened. <laughs> Damn. It was short. I think you would expect that after a bit, after the longest episode of, of uh, Ruby ever. But it was still filled with so much intensity from the start to, like, the, the end. I was absolutely loving that. And it, I was absolutely in shock with, every, with a lot of things that went on. From um, Crow punching Oscar. Of course, that was intended for Ozpin, but... Uh, physically, he's, it, it's still going to be Oscar, and, you know, I loved that hurt on Crow, like, um, you know, not just in his, not just in Vic's voice, but on his face as well, I was cursed, nobody wanted me, uh, and that betrayal, that se that sense of, like, you know, you're t you you want a way to stop Salem, and to be told that there is no defeating Salem, because there... And and you have to think though we we still have to keep it to uh, in the viewers' eyes. We have to think that um, Jin might have said that Ozpin can't. You meaning Ozpin? Because uh, uh, he was the one saying, "How do I defeat Salem? You can't." Um, emphasis on the you, but to everyone's not. They're not putting that into perspective. They are thinking that Salem is undefeatable. Um, like she can't die, she she literally can't die, and there's and there's this lack of plan to defeat Salem, and everyone's just not having any of it because um, there's that aspect of throwing your students in danger when there's not a chance to defeat Salem. It's like uh, really, really, especially when Ruby asked, how, uh, "Do we have a plan?" That there, there is that. Um, right to be angry, especially Yang, who um, dropped the profanity bomb. Um, no, honestly, I think that was the second time as well. That's why, I'm, that's why it's like such a, you know, big deal, of course. Um, no, it's, it's no big deal, but um, it's, it's just so, yeah, I, I mean, I had no, I'm, I'm actually surprised with how, um, and, you know, really, really, um, Impressed with how Ruby confronted Oz because, uh, like I said, the last time we saw Oz uh, before 
going into the past of Ozma and Salem, Ozpin came, you know, charging at Ruby. Um, and then she, uh, and then the next, uh, the first opportunity we get, uh, Ruby's just asking, so what's the plan, coach? Um, and yeah, if anything, everyone else is super, super pissed with, um, with Oz. Like I said, there's that understandability, especially Crow, uh, when you, when you take their history into account and now Crow sees this, it's hurt him so much inside. Like I said, that was impressive. But then, you know, the punch was absolutely shocking to see. Not just that though, but, you know, when, uh, Oz, uh, when Oscar was like, I'm just going to be another one of his lives. And then Ruby's trying to confide him. And then Crow's like, yeah, don't sugarcoat it. He's going to be another one of his pawns. So, yeah. Um, that that shade, he was just not having any of it. It was absolutely daunting. And I just loved the power in that, you know, scene so much. It was absolutely heartbreaking. It was shocking. It was really, really well done. And... Yeah, I was absolutely amazed with how, you know, they did it. Um, on, on a note as well with, um, you know, Team Ruby and Co. Uh, I do love how Marie is, you know, just not having it with Yang, with Yang's attitude as well. Um, of course, it's distressing times, but, but Marie is just like not having any of this. But I think, uh, I do sympathize so much. It's not like Yang's wrong to be angry. Uh, by all means, she's got her reasons to. I, I just love the, you know, response Maria's giving off to um, Yang. So, yeah, that's really, really great stuff. But honestly, that first bit was absolutely daunting. Um, and it was, it was just, it was just really, really emotional. Uh, we didn't, because we didn't get to see anything really from Weiss and Blake. We just got to, that focus on Ruby, Crow and Yang. Um... And, you know, both of them hurt handling different stages of emotions. Ruby's more calm about this, we've already seen. Uh, Yang's completely pissed off. You could say Crow is pissed off, but he's more hurt, if anything, which, which is evident by the way he is, you know, which he detailed his speech and, you know, he uh, sounded so defeated. And, you know, the punch to the face was the reaction. Uh, like, it was, it was like the post, um, looking into the past, I guess, reaction, um, that Crow gave off. So, yeah, they, in my eyes, they all handled with different, uh, ways of emotion, I felt. But it was still, yeah. Um, and then, you know, the big, uh, the other big scene was with, uh, Salem where everyone after Volume 5, uh, re well, apart from Cinder, as Tyrion nicely gloated. I have to say, I missed that son of a bitch so much. Um, but it was just really, really scary. That, that was also scary as well. It was scary as the first part. The scary part was the second part as well. Uh, considering how, you know, daunting Salem was in her words. And I think, you know... After Volume 4, because we didn't get much of her on Volume 5, did we? We knew she was sinister, especially with the way she killed Lionheart. Um, but I think with Volume 6, with her backstory and how, you know, far she was willing to go, um, and this episode especially, she just proved, she, she's just taking her, you know, threat level up a notch. She is absolutely super, super scary. Um... Especially when, you know, she had um, Hazel, uh, you know, being dragged down with those grim hands. Which was really, really, you know, fascinating, like, fascinating to see, well, again, Hazel being sympathetic. Because he took the rap for Cinder. Uh, and even though Salem could see past that. And I think she was not to trust, um, you know, in order on who's to blame. I think she, she was waiting for an honest answer. Um, and I think she knew Hazel was going to blame himself because he's that he's that guy he's someone with sympathy emotion, um, and I really really you know loved how you know she came to you know Emerald and you know got the confession 
it hurt for Emerald to say, but like I, but like I said, she knows Hazel's going to, you know, um, sugarcoat this and blame himself. So, yeah. Uh, as well as, you know, letting loose uh, the other information, which, after being dragged down, was, was certainly not looking so good for Hazel. Um, about, you know, the how everyone's headed to Atlas with the relic. Um, and that's when shit really started to hit the fan because the glass was starting to break and yeah everyone was like yeah let's just back the hell out of this one okay it was nice knowing you Salem bye um so I'm wondering how they're going to handle this though because Tyrion's got his I'm wondering if we're going to have a bit of a re well I'd say a bit of a rematch it would only be a rematch for um Ruby uh whereas the rest of um, um, well no they wouldn't encounter um Team Juniper, um, if, you know, Tyrion, unless, you know, Tyrion does accidentally bump into, uh, Team Junior, should I say, Juniper, <laughs> um, it, that could still happen, but, um, yeah, there's this plan on going to Vacuo, um, with one of the relics, I believe, and, um, retrieving the other relic, which Team Ruby has, which Tyrion eyes so much. So I'm wondering who is... Go like, I'm wondering if... I don't know. Uh, Watts will be going to Vacuo, potentially. Um, I don't know who else... Who who will be going to 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 retrieve the sword. But um, we'll just have to wait and see because it's... Because, uh, you know, I guess you want to split the party... In order to retrieve to, you're halfway there. You're halfway to destroying humanity once again. Um, if you, if it's basically two for the price of one, I guess I would. I I I guess, but I mean, you've got you're halfway there. You're halfway to destroy you know mankind for good this time. So yeah, um, so that's going to be very very interesting to see how they handle that now, uh, considering you know Hazel. Um, considering Salem was like, okay, so the sword, we got to get that. And then Hazel's like, there's more about the, you know, relic of knowledge. Yeah. And Ozpin. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming there's going to be a split, uh, in terms of who's going to get the, uh, Tyrion's going to, uh, especially with, you know, he wants that team, uh, that rematch. And I'm actually, I'm actually, I'm actually scared if Tyrion does encounter, um, Team Ruby because it didn't go so well last time for Crow and we were all fearing for, for his life, weren't we? So, no, no, no. Um, I'm, I'm not having that again. Just beat his ass, Crow. Um, if, if it means though, if it means that Crow breaks his nose again, I'm all for it, but, um, yeah, um, it's, very, it was very, very concerning that meet, uh, that meeting, um, it, not just the way that Hazel was dragged down and how sinister Salem used her words, like, the way she conveyed her words, though, like, Jen conveyed her words, was absolutely daunting, um, not just her actions, not just the way she approached certain people, but everything about Salem during that, during during the um, part where you know everyone ha uh, informed her about the defeat, it just proves you don't want to get on the wrong side of Salem. So yeah, um, but I'm really interested to see how next week does pick up. Uh, Ospin as well, locking himself away, which I thought was really powerful. Um, some might call it cowardly, but I think he is. T he, I think he's taking some time to reflect on his choices because this is the thing, though. His secrecy has cost him so. It, it cost him from his very first life. Well, second, but it's cost him all the way back then, and it's costing him all the way now. So I think he's trying to recalculate some some things potentially because. <laughs> He can't keep doing this because it's gonna keep biting him in the ass even further, and it's not good. It's not good, Oz. So, um, we'll have to just we'll have to just wait and see what happens with Oz next time he wants to come out and play. Uh, but I do do think he is just you know re um 
you know, reconsidering his options, like, uh, because, you know, he, he likes to take this thing with Salem into much needed secrecy, but it's co it cost him uh, when he was reunited with Salem, big time, it's costing him now, and Oscar had to feel the brunt of it, especially with that punch, uh, it, Ozpin might have felt it a bit, but, you know, Oscar's still going to feel it as well, so, yeah, um, and, you know, what he's done, ha like, uh, what, that we can't defeat Salem bit has hurt the team so much, uh, because we could be thrown into danger all for nothing, so, uh, yeah, so, oh, um, I really, really loved this episode, though, because the, that despite it being short, there was still a lot of shock and horror appeal uh, thrown into this. So it's not like, you know, uh, the crew be, you know, decided to, you know, lay a filler episode. Um, it was a nice aftermath episode, but one that still got you on the edge of your seat. So it's not like the crew be, you know, sat back after a long, intense episode, which was The Lost Fable, and just decided to throw whatever. It They really, really... Um, captivated the emotion intensely and I really really love it so awesome episode of Ruby shocking stuff but oof but yeah I will see you guys next time hope you guys enjoyed this reaction you can check the videos on the right if you want to check out more of my content you can also subscribe to my media pizza channel if you want to hope you guys enjoyed this reaction hope you guys take care and I will see you guys next time toodles